Hello and welcome back to another in-depth weather video. Today we have a lot to cover, so let's make it quick. If you guys like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. Right now, I'm on the National Weather Service page. We have three main categories of watches, warnings, and advisories. We have Sally-related, Wildfire-related, and Freeze-related. One of which we'll be covering today, and that is Sally. The wildfires are kind of dying down, and we've already had freezes and frosts across the northern tier this year. So let's move on to the radar. So Sally's the main player here. You can see it's kind of dying down now. The It's inland. It's rapidly weakening, and we can even see that on the satellite imagery. You can see it's rapidly weakening, but we do have 90L over here, which is just formed, and we will be talking about this in a little bit. National Hurricane Center. So we do have Tropical Depression Sally with winds of 35 miles an hour. We have Category 1 Hurricane Teddy now, 90 mile an hour winds, and Tropical Storm Vicky with 40 mile an hour winds. We have Invest 90L with a 50% chance of cyclone formation in 48 hours, 70% chance in 5 days, and Disturbance 2, which which is Invest 99L, 98L, sorry. So that has a 40% chance of development in 48 hours and 60% chance in 5 days. Here's 99L, but we will not be talking about that because I think that is pointless. So let's move on to the Storm Prediction Center. So we do have slight and marginal risks today. Slight risks in Fayetteville, North Carolina, Columbia, South Carolina, Charleston, South Carolina, Wilmington, North Carolina, and North Charleston, South Carolina. Marginal risk in Charlotte, North Carolina, Portland, Oregon, Virginia Beach, Virginia, Raleigh, North Carolina, and Norfolk, Virginia. Most of them being related to Sally, a few on the west coast. Tornado probabilities up to 5%, wind high winds probabilities up to 5%, and hail less than 5%. So let's move on here to excessive rainfall. So we do have marginal, slight, and moderate risks. If you are in, the marginal risk, you have 5-10% chance of exceeding flash flood guidance that's here in this green color. If you are in slight risk, you have 10-20% chance to, of exceeding flash flood guidance that is in this yellow here, and moderate is 20-50% chance of exceeding flash flood guidance, and that is in here. Let's move on to storm info. Teddy. Right now, it is expected to hit Bermuda, the Bermuda area. But that is not good news for Bermuda because we can always see this get to that Category 3 mark. Right now the National Hurricane Center predicting that, but the general trend here, the cluster, is in Category 2. Maybe a high-end Category 2, but I think that we're going to see a very similar path or very similar intensity track as Paulette, where it's expected to become a major, and it just falls short. Let's move on here to 98L, which is our wave off of Africa. A couple models showing that this will become a tropical storm, a few of them showing that it will die out. Let's move on to 90L. Which most models are showing that this will become a tropical storm, one showing a category one hurricane. Let's move on to the GFS. So I really don't see much here. Um here's 90L. That could form, but I don't see much there. NAM three kilometer model. <clears throat> Thermodynamics. So overall today we're gonna be seeing generally a cooling trend across the north uh, Sally making a little bit cooler in the southeast and then extreme heat in the southwest 
So, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.